it's only it's only used by uh so, like scientists for very precise temperature measurement. We're talking just, about Kelvin. I've just never seen it on like a website where you're like, oh, K degrees. Hey, what's what's the temperature? Two hundred seventy three Kelvin outside, or thirty two degrees Fahrenheit, or zero Celsius. I like the zero. You know, I zero feel like that makes water. more sense. Like if it's freezing outside, then it was zero degrees. I don't know. Well, we're but we're America. And we have I think it was getting it. it was getting too cold for some people, and they had to just be like, you know what? We got to make this a weird number. I pulled up you know, Google, a weird formula. I pulled up Google News to tell everybody about the new about the news. And uh, the first Welcome story the is news, news second news. stimulus check updates. Unemployment benefits expire as COVID-19 bill unsigned. Yeah, give me my money so I can buy PS5. Yes, that's the only thing. Dude, I saw something funny that said, I don't know, people talk about like when it was $600, they were like, oh, like like 600 like it was like $600 isn't going to help me at all so i might as well be fucked with a ps5 instead of (laughs) and i was like that's i mean that like honestly like if the government just gave people that are like drowning right now six hundred dollars i might just be like what six hundred dollars is not gonna help me so i'm just gonna go buy a ps5 so at least oh i have a ps5 now yeah Uh, yeah because people are just ah, my elixir. That. That's that's a ground up baby skin. I don't know. This is episode Dude, twenty-seven. I'm no longer gonna uh, acknowledge I'm, episode numbers. I'm, acknowledge the number or the title or the audience. <laughs> Actually, Not I already good. I already acknowledged the audience, but that was Not the la- that was the, the last time. This is going to be more like a conversation. I just want to have a conversation with you. Dude, have you ever checked out the Tim Ferriss show? Uh, no. It's a podcast? I'm too busy trying to listen to ones that I have already known about for years. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just, I never knew. It's basically the same idea that a lot of people have started podcasts. They're just like, I'm going to interview people. I can record myself. It's just like, I'm going to interview people who are experts in their field. I'm going to interview a photographer. What does he do? I'm going to interview a comedian. What does he do? I'm going to interview a cop. What does he Oh, he killed me. And then, I'm going to interview. <laughs> oh, I'm going to interview a cop. And the cop's like, are you a black man? And he's like, no. Okay. All right. And you better not be sleeping or else you're gone. Yeah. You better not, you better not fucking be doing nothing. <laughs> now you see all these like. I've seen like these little stupid like from like TV shows where it's just like an overly like racist cop where he's like, Puh, get out of the car. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess they're, just, they're portraying basically like without murder. They're basically doing but like, like the worst portrayal of a cop. Yeah. The, the funny thing one. is like, but like these already existed. Like it's not like all these shows recorded these episodes recently. It's just like all these episodes already existed. Like they're just like those shitty CBS and Fox like TV shows. And then they're yeah. just, and now everyone's like, oh, I want to put this on. I want to put this on TikTok as this part one. Part. T- hey, hey, like and sub- like and follow for part three. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, I hate that. Dude, did you, did you see about that that old that good old bombing in Nashville? No idea. <laughs> yeah, some guy blew up. I don't even like no. I heard people uh, talking about that, but I someone also talked knew... about it at work on Friday. Yeah, it was like Christmas or no? It was Christmas Eve, so it was Thursday. I and, just also uh, knew about that Nashville Zanies that had the truck go into it. So uh, when people were talking about a bombing, I thought they were joking because that's a comedy club. Oh, uh, yeah. That's funny. Like the truck that's was bombing funny. or something. But then there's an actual bombing. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, so the, the the mayor, the Nashville mayor, I don't know why the mayor would, believes the bomber was targeting the ANT 
AT&T building. He's like, my bill was too high for the last time. And he just blew up a... Couldn't handle it. He did it. <laughs> I, uh, so this morning, I helped uh, Don. He moved into a new apartment. <laughs> Dude, hold on. Oh, what's it? This the guy. The reason the the FBI believes the reason this guy attack or this was targeting the AT and T building was because he ha- he they s- FBI probes rumor that the main suspect in the attack harbored deep paranoia about five G technology. Oh my god! <laughs> I must stop it. <laughs> That's what is he gonna crazy. do? Blow up every AT and T building in the country. There are so many. I can't believe that's still happening. Like, there's so many conspiracy theories that, you know, that you could be like, JFK was killed by this person or that person or whatever. JFK had a gay asshole. Yeah, he lived with a butt plug in his ass. Like, there's conspiracy theories where you're like, there's something there or there's a lot there. And then there's people that are just like, Newer, updated cell phones are going to kill everybody. Yeah. Or whatever the hell. Yeah, that's funny. That's or they're, funny. they're uh, flat. Like, but, like, it's, like, the people who, like, believe one or two of them, like, believe all of them. I feel like. They're just like yeah. I'm hook, line, and sinker on everything. <laughs> like, what the hell? I, no, what I wanted to tell hell? you. I wanted to tell you um, a thing this morning. So, I helped Don move. I helped Don move into his new apartment. Who? Um, the Jordan worked with him. Oh, that guy. Don and uh. Today. Yeah, this morning. Um, you were like, allowed to do that. Like eight a.m. Oh. oh well, we wore masks. Did you make but... Jordan go? No, because I was like, I don't want to be late, and I want to get this done. Uh, that's smart. I, cause I, I'll just be quick, and we'll be done. Cause he's, <laughs> he just said he's like, I got a couch. A uh, bo- box spring, a bed, uh, my friend's couch, my friend's box spring, my friend's bed. No, I'm kidding. But he he just had like some of that, just a n- n- typical single person, uh, big stuff. And uh, so I'm going to kill my cat again, dude. He's meowing in the room. <laughs> so I gave him so much food. That's insane that this freaking mammoth cat is a real thing. He's so, like, oh, what's it? I'm getting food, so I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. You should feed them rat poison. I sh- I, that's the next thing I'm going to feed them. Keep them <laughs> yelling in there. And uh, so I was helping Don. And so I thought about this. Like, I had a thought of like a Larry David type scenario that like I could totally see them doing this. And like, I don't know if they're signed for more seasons of Curb Your Enthusiasm, but like, um, like, uh, so, you know, we're wearing masks and he got in the, in my truck and we, we loaded up the bed and then we went from his apartment to his other apartment. It was only like four mm-hmm. blocks away. And oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, it was, but it's actually a lot nicer. His, his first one, the one he's in was tiny. So yeah. I'm helping him move all this stuff. Um, after he leaves, uh, I got done with the big stuff. He had a lot of small stuff and it wasn't boxed up. And you know, like when you're moving with people or helping people move, I'm like, well, I'm not going to be boxing things up for you. You know what I mean? Like I'm the one with the truck yeah. I'm here to help you move the big stuff, especially if your little stuff's not ready. There's no way I'm sitting around for hours while you box little stuff up. So move all the big stuff. He gets out. I tell him, Hey, I'll talk to you later. He's leaving. And uh, I grab a Clorox wipe. Cause I still got some in my truck and I was just cleaning the inside of the car. Like just, just to be sure. Cause it's COVID stuff. And then I just had a thought of like in Larry day in Kirby enthusiasm, what would happen because Don, cause Don's black. What would happen would be in curb, you know, you'd have like a lady walking a dog or a lady walking down the street and she'd look over and see that like black dude just got out of my car and then I like, start cleaning that side. <laughs> <And then> <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, he says, no, no. Yeah. No, 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 it's because it's it's COVID. It's because of germs. And then she just keeps walking. He he could be sick. And then she's like shaking her head. This guy's racist. And then like in Curb, they would take it a step further. It would be that lady would also be someone who was like going to 
host a party and that I was invited to yeah. or something where like now now I can't go to this party I wanted to go to to meet someone. Or like, you go there and you're like, oh no. Yeah. And then yeah, you're no, doing yeah, like, yeah. what? You're like, that's that, that's that lady. That's that lady that that thinks I'm racist. Like, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Catch eyes with her. Yeah. And then and then another part to it is I thought I was like, dude, you know, it'd probably have another thing with like, say before we I helped him move this morning say like on my way there i stop at a coffee shop right down the street and that same lady is in there when i'm in the coffee shop and i'm just talking to a guy and she takes something out of context out of context that almost already seems kind of racist she just like hears something out of context but in her head she's just like that might just be whatever and then when she walks down the street and she sees me cleaning the car that's when she realizes <laughs> like and affirms it <laughs> no i just saw him do it this guy's racist he yeah. more black people germs on his car and he's he's for sure racist and it's just funny i had the thought i was like dude that would be you know now now i want to see the next season to see if they have any episodes because that would be a <laughs> larry david idea that's like something he would do yeah the whole episode this is just based off that yeah that's, that's a that's a fine pro that's a fine program 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 sounds great <clears throat> speaking well, of larry david i watched like all of seinfeld this year and <laughs> the the eighth and ninth season they start having things that are happening in the show that are just like the show's very good and a lot of, a lot of it's realistic stuff like that's what the like, jerry's observations but then mm-hmm. the ninth season and some of the eighth is just like some of the things are so bonkers <laughs> Like uh, the stuff I don't know the stuff that Kramer's doing. Like, like he already was a madman, and then he just I don't know. It's all so abstract. He's like wild. Kramer's fucking Kramer's raping people. He's like ah. He's like no, Jerry. It's business. No, Jerry, yeah. it's a business. There's a lot yeah. of money in it. Yeah. We can sell the women. No, no, yeah. Now he's got nine doors for him to break through. I gotta kill this cat. <laughs> well, while Chris is killing a cat, let me tell let me tell you about our sponsors. Um, this candy, Lindor chocolates. They're good candy. I'm gonna eat one on the pot. See everybody. <laughs> you doing a food review? It's a. Uh, Oh, the crunching's probably horrible. Not crunchy. Oh no, not not your mouth. The the wrapper. Oh, maybe. Go buy them. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Uh oh. So I already told you, it's supposed to do like a small family thing today. Just some siblings and my parents. Now we rented out Ford Field. And now one of them is saying, and now we rented off Ford Field. <laughs> we got a sold out show. We got Kevin Hart coming and <laughs> the machine playing after. We have a sold out show for the family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but my brother is saying that like his steps kid was in contact with someone who had it and who had COVID. And then, oh my gosh. Man, surprised. Uh, oh my! I don't know, man. I'm not even commenting. Guess I'm not going. There's no huh. way that's gonna happen. <laughs> Can't believe it. Was Jordan supposed to go too? Yeah, yeah. They're uh, all gonna go. It was because we just saw her family. So the idea yeah. was like, we the idea was like, now we can't them. kill them. Yeah, now that we can't kill our parents, we're seeing uh now seeing. my brother's now my brother's calling me. Which brother? Mara. Oh. Uh. He's gonna be like, Hey, do you mind that we all have coat? <laughs> also everyone's just telling them they don't care. Yeah, my brother and my sister are like, Yeah, oh, we've already been around you because it's like my family. They all got their kids and like someone has yeah. one watches the other one. So in their heads they're just like, Well, 
you know, of course. I mean, yeah, I watched your kid the other day, and then the day after that, you watched my kid while I was at work, and blah, blah, blah. Like, figured if we're already around each other, you know. Well, guess what? Uh oh. Oh. God damn it. Dude, I wish I could hire a maid or a cleaning lady. That would be cool. I should ask because uh, my aunt and my mom do that. Like, do that. Once, my mom does it in Florida. Oh, yeah. I need to ask them about rates. So yeah, I, mean, I was like once idea. a month, and then just have some have some whore. Just kidding. You were. That was just very rude. I'm trying to get this lady to clean my house, and I'm already insulting her. Have this nice young lady come and clean my house, or a young man. You know what? No, if you're a man and you're cleaning houses. I don't you're want you. I don't trust you. Yeah, you're, you're probably man, gonna. You're a thief. You're probably gonna steal everything. Cause you're a piece of shit. That was that was one thing at uh at grocery stores that like loss prevention always said that like one of the biggest theft problems were just like with women purses. Oh, there's that noise. Oh. Women with purses, they just uh, put uh, things in their purse. Things in their pussies. Uh, They just, yeah, just little stuff. And it's so crazy that it's, I don't know, it's only a matter of a couple bucks because you're doing, you're grabbing a couple fucking tamps. Yeah, grabbing a couple tamps. A couple of tamps, a couple of, a couple of uh, chocolates, a couple of ice creams. Next thing you know, you got yourself a good old fashioned dessert. You got yourself some a sunbee. Hey, you got a Sundays? You got a Sunday and a Sunday. Someday I'm gonna be a gay, but not today. Dude, now I'm all freaking annoyed with this family thing. Oh. What? I just saw a thing. Reportedly, Target has gonna have a PS5 D stock today. Ooh, when is that? I don't know. It was from I saw the post. It's on this. I literally went to Google News or before the pod started just to yeah. look at. Just I was like, oh, let's see what they have on this Tom's Guide website. Target PS5 restock reportedly happening today. Oh, I need to know the time. I don't know. Uh, gotta get my target. Gotta get my target. My target. Gotta get. Gotta get it. Got. 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 Gotta get. Gotta get it. Get it. Oh, gotta get it. Did I? Uh, I don't know if we mentioned Tom Cruise's rant on the last one. I don't. I didn't see it. I heard people talk about it, but so. To me, oh man, damn it! I'm annoyed if I already talked about it. But to me, it no, just sounded I mean, like he, a complete PR. Like he he made it. I swear to God, he told someone to record it. Hey, like maybe not everyone there knew. Should I watch it right now? Yeah, you could. It's really it's, it seems short to me. At least the clip I uh, is it. It's a, like an audio clip. Tom Cruise COVID nineteen rant. Is that what it is? Yeah, because he's working on a movie. And apparently, a person or two isn't wearing a mask right. To me, it just sounds like. Oh. He, to me, he's just telling Oops. people, "Hey, uh, I'm, you know, I'm trying to do what's right, and let me just signal to everybody that like we're doing the right thing here." So and he told told the guy. I'm sure he did rant to people, but he just probably told the guy next to him, or he recorded it himself to record it, and then he just rep- reprimanded and yelled at people. This is serious. We are the standard. This is what we got to do. You need to wear your fucking masks. And he's, you know, he's an actor. So people are like, man, this is real. It's like, he's yeah. done that in every fucking movie he's been in. What do you mean this is real? Any actor, even like those videos that they put out with all these actors, you see that too? They're, they're like naked and they're like, we're donating uh, our assholes to cancer yeah. or whatever the fuck. We're donating our fucking tits. Uh Sarah Silverman is like this, holding her tits oh, yeah. in that one. And uh, a bunch of other actors. Why are they naked? 
So he's just mad. he's just mad about COVID stuff. It looks yeah, like. it was like COVID and masks, and he's just upset. How many about meters something. is that? When people are standing around a fucking computer, that he's probably yeah. like, but like, how many times did this guy do something stupid to where you to finally me, just? I just thought it was a. To me, it sounded like a PR thing, like they made this to make it look like. Maybe not just like a PR thing, but he just wanted to. He wants to oh, look like good. I'm on the yeah. good side of this, and people are out I mean, there maybe. showing people. And I want to. Maybe to or he's I'm genuinely like, pissed at a stupid guy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I just a lot of some other podcasts I heard just said they they just liked it. Oh, nice. Yeah, he just had enough with that guy. That's what a bunch of people were saying. Yeah. And Andrew Andrew Scholes had the same thing that I'm saying. Is that he was just like, I think he put it out there. Yeah, it's possible. I think he recorded it and then told them to put it out there, you know, for like good publicity. Like you would, you know, it's like calling TMZ on yourself. Yeah. Cause you're not, he wasn't, he wasn't doing anything bad. He didn't hit anybody. He wasn't like shaking a person. You know, no one, yeah. no, nobody from his crew came out and was like, Tom Cruise is abusing us. We're trying to film a movie and he's keeps yeah. hitting people when they don't have masks on. Yeah. I don't know. It could be, if it's possible that he did it on purpose. I mean, wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I didn't hear it. I just heard people talk about it. I think I heard, uh, yeah, Bill Burr talked about it and he was like, he was like, dude, he's like, people, he's like, People snap all the time. Yeah, he's like, you know, I mean, you. Don't, he's like, you don't know how many times. Maybe they told whatever this guy, whoever this guy was. Yeah. Maybe they told this guy like seven times, "Hey, man!" And then finally, Tom Cruise is just like, you know, loses my. I don't know. Or yeah, like you said, it's possible. It just fucking. He's he's like, hey, look at me! I'm mad at this guy because of the COVID. <laughs> yeah, most Remember people when, were saying the Bill Burr thing. Most people were saying like. I mean, yeah, like there's dumb people not following shit, and he's like fed up that people yeah. in his own crew, which I think that's the most that's logical. Dude, that's why I thought like the whole like uh, the whole uh, what's her name, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> yeah, I love like, that whole guy. like like that whole shit about like I like didn't like I was like oh shit like she what did she do and then like it was Nobody like oh shit put themselves like, in her spot. The whole thing was like she was me. She's like not the nicest to her staff, and I was like. Oh, oh, so, oh, so her staff had a shitty boss. Oh yeah, like, man, yeah, but she she's known as the woman who's very yeah. It's like okay, well, yeah. Then she gets off stage and she has her staff. She's like, oh, can can I have a conversation with you? And my mom like, wants my mom wants an autograph. Yeah, get my mom away. wants a little video. Can you do that, dude? How annoying would that get? Dude, I'm I'm like not even close to anything about being. Yeah, famous. we are nothing. And there's like, want to do that. I, there are people that I've seen where I go, oh my god, please don't talk to me. You know what I mean? You get like that. And if that that if that was your constant mood with like 50 million people every day, you would get to a point where you're like, no, get away from me. Yep. And then no I, I would just start killing people. I'd be like, dead, dead, dead. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We're nothing, and we don't even want to do. <laughs> No one could put, no one can put themselves in like their situations. Like th- those, those people, they get so big, uh, and then like you just you get like, yeah, like you <laughs> you get overwhelmed of like you have this pressure for the show. You have to put like an act on. She's like everyone's getting free dildos, and then yeah. like uh, you know she's got to be like that person. You can't be on a hundred percent of your day. So she's on during her show, but like just before it, she has the same anxiety as other people have before yeah, you know, she's gotta playing like, a basketball game. Get, or get in the zone. Sport. Yeah, she's got to get in the zone. So some dumb motherfucker is like, I got your coffee. And it's like, I wanted it a fucking hour ago. Or like, I didn't even ask for coffee. Or whatever the fuck the thing is. Yeah. It's just like, or, or they just say, okay. They don't say thanks because yeah. they're, they're like in the zone. They're a narrow vision. They're ready. They're thinking about their show notes or yeah countless things they're thinking about they might be thinking about the bullshit they have to do after the show they got so much it's like they ha- everyone has everyone has to get everyone for something it's like yeah. jesus christ yeah people love to just bring people, other like, people down. <laughs> it's like 
you get like Harvey Weinstein and then now everyone's like, okay, now who's next? And it's like, well, I heard Ellen DeGeneres like yells at her staffers. Yeah, not everyone's <laughs> just raping people yeah. to, get into, to get them into movies. Yeah. Guys, I just, so we got him, but like no one else raping anybody, but we don't know them. We, we need to get, we need to get somebody. Yeah. Dude, Tom, not wearing a seatbelt. Yeah. Fucking, uh, uh, What's that guy? Colin Farrell. Or was it Colin Farrell? No, who is the yeah, guy? He got mad at something, too. No, that was, it was a different guy. Oh. The guy that plays Batman. What the fuck is his name? Yes, he had the one where he was screaming at people. Yeah, he's Christian yelling at people. Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah, they're like, look at this. And it's like, I don't know. I just feel like it's like these. some people are just under a spotlight, and they make one little mistake. I don't care about then, that either. Because yeah. like I'm sure when some people are... They're, Getting ready for movies. Well, and you're like trying to do this movie, and this guy just ruins the shot, and you're just like, like, dude, how many times? Have, okay, all these people that like get, oh, dude, do you believe that he did that? How many times in your life have you fucking just been sitting there and someone did something so minimal, but it was like dumb and inconvenient? So you're like, you're just like, what an idiot! Like you just get mad. Yeah, yeah. I, I was oh. connecting it to like sports even like pickup basketball in allen park michigan yeah. like pick up basketball <clears throat> like you pass to a guy that you you assume is going to the correct open spot and he just goes a different direction and you're like dude the net's right there wide open and you went to like the sideline and so yeah. you missed the pass because this motherfucker didn't do the right move or whatever and you're just like in in that in an Allen Park recreational game, you would be like, motherfucker. And you guys would like talk shit because like you high intensity, like like filming a movie or whatever. These people have been doing these roles. They've been there for hours and hours filming this movie, doing these scenes several times. And so like you're amped up. You know, he's amped up probably for his insane character that he's playing also because he's always playing something crazy. Yeah. And then he just goes off on this guy and people – like take it out of context. You could take a basketball game, a rec basketball game out of context and be like, this guy is one of the worst people I've ever met. It's like, no, we're just we're high testosterone, high uh, elevated levels of yeah. erections. Te- and, testosterone. And Testosterone's through your everyone ass. Has, everyone has raging boner. Yeah, everyone's yeah. running around <laughs> popping the balls, popping the so, basketball yeah. at their cock. Um, uh, cock like, ball. Yeah. So it just... Like I don't get mad at basketball at sports people. I just like sometimes in my head I'm like, all right, calm down. <laughs> yeah, gee. You know, but it's <laughs> jails. It's just like a mini fit of rage, and it's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. Christian yeah. Bale isn't wasn't I don't know punching anybody. He's like, Everyone needs to relax about all this. I'm scared. I think uh, Tim Dillon said about uh, Ellen DeGeneres. He was like, he was like. Uh, Talking about how at first they're like, all right, well, we need to get a lesbian over here. Uh, let's find like a like a funny one, like elevate them, get them a show, and like certain stuff like that, like uh, trying to elevate minorities and and have a good representation all over. Like stuff is still happening, like trying to have representation for everybody. And uh, <clears throat> Tim Dillon's like, you're just gonna someone that you're some minority that you're bringing up, like there's going to be some shitty ones too. He's like, there's going to be, you know, like you, you, you got Ellen doing stuff. Maybe she's just kind of an ass. Yeah. Uh, some other lesbian is maybe not much of an ass, but like she's, I don't know. They also can be assholes too. Like yeah, everyone can be an they're asshole. Al- they're allowed to. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, they're all, everyone's allowed to be whatever they want, unless it's, Against the law, dude. Thinking of uh, uh, lesbians, though, uh, Matteo yeah. Lane. <laughs> That's who I like. I like to think of lesbians a lot. Uh, Matteo Lane, uh, yeah, uh, gay comedian, dude. Um, Whoa, super hot guy. You know, wish I had his body. He uh, really? in my in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> he he uh, I heard this on uh, some random some one of the hundred podcasts I listen to every week. He uh. He said that I never thought about this because we, me and you, grew up in the time when L, uh, Eminem, his albums were popular. Mm-hmm. Did that make the noise again? No, I, was, I oh. think someone started a vacuum, so I was like, "Whoa!" Oh, <laughs> that's funny. 
Uh, so, no, uh, Matteo Lane said that he thinks Eminem, like, ruined his childhood. And he thinks ruined a childhood for a lot of, like, gay kids. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, he just, he said that, like, he so easily, like, and openly all over, like, you know, because it was right on, like, MTV. He's on TRL all the time. And yeah. he's just uh, very much just being, like, gay guys and like laughing and making fun of uh like in his music like like, oh yeah makes fun of gay dudes a lot and so he just said like it made it because in the songs they would use fag all the time yeah so then people children would listen to these albums because he dyes his hair blonde they're like like... my hair blonde and run around say fag and then (laughs) they're they're uh you know the actual gay kids that are in school are just like cool Great. It's not gonna come out for another ten years. Now everyone thinks it's cool to bash me. Yeah. And it was. No, just kidding. Yeah. So I never. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I also wasn't running around calling everyone back. But, but you know what's sure funny? People are. I'm not like trying. To, I'm not gonna get in some stupid argument about like or a debate. As I'm just bringing this up because like anytime like when in the height of my young life when I was oh fag like. Every time, every insult to me, like when I, I was just like calling, like, oh, dude, that guy's fucking gay, like gay or whatever. Like, it's always like, I never met like, oh, he's fucking, dude, you're fucking, you like men. It was just. Oh, yeah, you want to have a good relationship was just, with a man. Like, it was just like, insert whatever word. I would just wanted to call, you're an idiot. You're a bitch. Like, whatever. Like, I just, I just wanted to call somebody a name. And like for like at the time, those were like the names that you said. That was just that was, a lot of times. Yeah, it just happened to be. Yeah. Someone could have said. Someone could have called somebody like a kerfunkel, and you'd been like, yeah. "Man, it really hits people." Yeah. Hey, dude, you're a kerfunkel, and then as soon as it gets reactions, you're like, "Man, no one likes to be called a kerfunkel." Yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously, yeah. I'm yeah, not obviously, trying. I didn't bring that up to be like, "We should, we should all say it again." Like yeah. I was just saying, like, at least for me, I was like. I don't know. Yeah, I like, it was, that I like wasn't gay people. Our, They're cool. Yeah, that wasn't even in our minds. Like the actual gay thing. It was uh, just like, hey, my brother called me that. Yeah. I don't know why, <laughs> but... <laughs> but Dude, I just saw the most upsetting picture. Oh boy. Just, on the Target website, they have a PS5. Oh and no. it's sitting on the very edge of a counter. Like if it fell backwards, it would just fall off the counter onto the floor. You don't even deserve a PS5, if that's where you're going to put it. Hey, does my head look cool like this? Yeah. Does my cock look cool like this? Hey. <laughs> well, hey. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, oh, oh, oh. Why are PS5s impossible to get? I don't know, man. Is, are the Xboxes hard to get? Can I just go buy one? I don't want um, to. I don't but, think you I don't they're not that easy, but they are way easier. Like I don't like think we would they, have already gotten one. I don't think basically. they sell out in seconds like the PS5. Like Xbox like cuz I remember I've seen a few times where like like one of the guys I follow on Twitter, he just he's posted before where he's like, "Oh, you know, like and it posts like a Walmart link and it was like they still have an X they still have Xbox Series Xs." So it's like so they still like people are like, "Ah, Oh, they didn't sell them all right away. But the PS5 is just gone, 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 gone. I, I mean, I know a few people that already have an Xbox. Okay. Did the Xbox have the worst naming of I don't all know. time? Yeah, I don't know what they... It's like, got to be the worst... Xbox, so- Xbox 360, they like the Xbox done- One, and now they have an Xbox Series X. If they would have just done it, but starting with one to five or whatever, I swear to God, like. I'd like to go back in time. How many, and like how many people them. bought the wrong one for it's like Christmas? Because yeah. they're just Without like, a doubt, these older I, people are trying to buy their kids something. I didn't want a 360. Well, he's yeah. Like, yeah, it was the highest number. <laughs> yeah, I thought 360, one and 360. 360 is higher than one. So, you know. So now these old people who got no idea what cis councils are, they got to ask the person, when did that one come out? 2005? Yeah. I ain't, that ain't it. When did that one come out? Dude, I saw this stupid. I saw this TikTok. I'm, and I'm like, I'm, I'm hundred percent. Like, this is just a staged thing, because like this guy. Oh, before you go to work, babe, here you go. And he's like, Oh, for me. 
Is that your yeah, dog, hey, Chris? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, he's crying. Cody. Um, and then she's like, "Here you go, Merry Christmas." And then uh, he like pulls, he like opens up this like present, and it's a PS4. And like he's like, "What the hell?" And then like he starts getting pissed, and he ends up like throwing the box on the ground and then like like takes his jacket off because he had his jacket on he was gonna leave the house anyway takes yeah. his jacket off and then walks out of the house and i was like first of all like obviously you would like you oh my god she probably <laughs> did she probably went upstairs and he's just and crying now at the door like waiting for her yeah, to come back crying. down um i could ram ramble about something uh i was, I was gonna if say you wanted to tickle his butt no i don't want to leave the room because it won't do anything. I'll just be yeah. like, okay, and then I'll walk away and then I'll start I'll crying just, again. Yeah, yeah. Makes um, sense. but like if I got one, like I'll be like if I was like given a PS4 and I open it, like I would be like, like I wouldn't get mad. I would probably start laughing and go, "This is the wrong one. I already have yeah. this." And then they'd be like, yeah. they would be pissed, and I would go, "Yeah, you're probably gonna have to return this because." <laughs> Yeah, and they'd wrong. go, okay, well, we have a gift receipt because yeah. it's something that was $300. Cause that's, and then, yeah, that's what, when he threw it, she goes, well, now I can't even return it. And I was in my head, I was like, well, you still could return it because it has packaging wonder, in there. wonder if it was staged. Like he did, yeah, that's what, that's what I was saying. I'm like, this so is 100% staged because, like, the horrible. first of all, a guy, he, he got, he just got pissed and he was like, what the hell? This is a PS4. And he started like, getting mad. I was like, dude, you have a. There's so many bad comedy sketches that are like, this is real. And it's like, yeah. this might be funny if you made it obviously like a sketch. Yeah. Like if, if it was like, I'm trying to that put it, was it off fake. as fake as, as a real. real. Yeah. So, so it's so corny. Some of it's yeah. so horrible. Like there's a, there's a TikTok couples that have like these fucking couple things. And it's like, this is the worst acting, the worst fucking thing ever. Just make it obvious that you're making something up and it's better. Yep. Rather than, I don't know. Not, I don't know. The PS5 looks, that looks so goofy. It's like a weirdo in like a futuristic cape, like coat, yeah. like a suit coat flipping it. And then Dude, the Xbox, even... it's the first time they made it a box. <laughs> yeah, it's an actual box. Yeah, dude. It's a, they honestly could just... It doesn't even matter. They could make it look so bad. And people would go, oh, that thing's ugly. When can I get it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You have to play yeah. it. I'm really into like the solid state thing and how quick it is and shit. Yeah, dude. I Jordan's it. dad told me at his work, he's got... Uh, his computers are all solid state, he said. Yeah, I have two. I didn't know that he even I just got one for Christmas, actually. I didn't even know he knew what that was. Yeah. Oh, he's he a... said it's like really quick, all the all the stuff. He said he has yeah. five. He has what? Oh he does? Yeah. Cool. You yeah, it's pretty, I mean it's pretty it's it's like instantaneous. Yeah. It's crazy. Freaking future, dude. It's funny. Jordan's dad, who's ninety. Knows more. He's like, ah. knows more about technology. Oh yeah, isn't she working there? Uh, yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, baby. She like, I can do your taxes. They're like, uh, never mind. And uh, then his dad's getting pit. Her dad's getting pit. Quit chasing my customers away. He's, uh, the guy's like, you can do my taxes. Yeah. He's like, you're a woman. <laughs> you, you know, it, uh, it might you be guys can't even use. You guys can't even use rulers. <laughs> I seen my wife try to put a try to hang a photo up, and that thing was not level. <laughs> you could, hey Dave, can you get this girl in a kitchen or something? This is crazy. That's why women like the. You're uh, supposed to be cleaning when they decorate a wall. That's why they like to do the one where it's like one photo in the center, and then just a bunch of random photos. Oh yeah. So they don't have to do any math. You can just put it whatever you want. Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be all crazy and wacky. Comedy. Um, <laughs> dude, no, so, no women listen to this. Well, I heard. Yeah, they they didn't make it this far. If they if they are if they did listen, because yeah, they already they already they already came to our voices and they're like, all right. Yeah, they already. I'm they're already done. Over and done with. Same with like, same with some of the guys I know that I listen to. This yeah, too. they're like, like uh, uh, oh, Chris talks about Larry David. <laughs> 
I love Larry David and Chris's voice at the same time. I love Larry David. Yeah. I love Larry. Shit. Um, no, I was gonna, I was gonna say something about uh. Um. Something else. Who knows? I don't know. Lost well, it. the wackiness. Yeah. Well, we're all, we lost it, everybody. Gone. <laughs> oh. Oh man, I had to burp. I just did a little bit. Um. Well, everybody, what's what's coming out for Xbox? Is it what's there? Like, do they have any nice exclusive things? Uh, Halo. Like, that, that's pretty much what it is every time. They have like a deal. Hey, pretty next much. nine consoles we make, you're gonna be our first game. So you guys. I don't really know if they have. I don't know like all their exclusives. Let's let's look it up. And they had Titanfall last year, or last year, yeah, last every, council. Oh yeah, but now both everyone has it. Yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Titanfall nine. Oh, they're getting a fa- they're getting Fable. They're rebooting Fable. But I don't know Fable's if that's a cool. I don't know if that's an exclusive. Yeah, Fable is fun. You fart on people, burp. I think I think Fable is an exclusive. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. I, I only had Xbox then when I played that, so I don't know if it was. I don't know. Yeah, this a lot of these games I've never heard of before. <laughs> so is, is Cyber? No, oh yeah, Cyberpunk's for both, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything exclusive for PlayStation rather than like the show MLB? I think. Uh... Yeah, it's like I think oh, that's Spi- yeah. Spider-Man game and uh, Demon really? Souls. Yeah, the Asian stuff. Yeah, I guess they're having a new Ratchet and Clank game. And Demon Souls. Oh yeah, the, oh the God of they're releasing a new God of War. That'll be sweet. I probably. I can't I wasn't thinking about those. I want to play yeah, Demon see, Souls. It's hard to argue for Halo when you're like. Demon Souls is, sounds sweet. I mean, yeah. Spider Man, even. Though. I don't know. I'm just not gonna. I'll get it. What I'll get if I ever want to play. Because see, Halo eventually releases on the PC after a long time, so I'll play it one day. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you'll play it on there. Yes, sir, Daddy O. I wrote in I wrote in my notes on my phone. <laughs> it's it's an Elvis Presley song. It's uh I ain't nothing but a horn dog. I ain't this nothing, isn't even worth it. I ain't nothing but a gay guy. We know sucking all the cocks. That's basically yeah. what it was. Fucking all the time. You know? Uh, so, you know. Basically the same thing. I don't know why well, I, I made it better. Apparently I needed to type that down. That's how I ain't nothing but a lesbian. I ain't nothing but a horn dog. Fucking all the cocks. Fucking all the cats. Yeah. Getting them. I ain't nothing but a cat raper. Wrangling them. Here. I ain't nothing but a cat wrangler. Wrangler. <laughs> wrangler jeans. Do you have a cat? Do you need to wrangle your cat? Eat your cat? cat and some wranglers. What did you do to your cat to make him stop meowing? Like, did you just push him? Diesel? Did you just kick him? I, I'm not, not going to kick your cat. The, yeah, I threw him out the window. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a whole thing. Yeah, dude, one time she's coming in through the front door. Diesel, yeah. the cat, is about to go. I'm in a different room, like the kitchen. And she goes, Chris, come, come get Diesel. And then I go, what? She's like, I'm carrying groceries. I, <laughs> I go, I go kick him. What? I go kick him. I'm not going to kick your cat. And I'm like, I don't mean, I don't yeah. mean you're gonna line the you're gonna hike the cat, set it down, and <laughs> take a six foot running start to punt the, the cat through the fucking uprights. Like yeah. I just need you shoe him away with him. your foot. Yeah. Yeah, you put your foot under it, and it's a shove. Yeah. Sorry, I used a kick. Yeah, you shouldn't use kick, Chris. You I'm fucking getting idiot. Getting to the point. Getting to the point. Get the cat out of your way. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kick him. All right, keep using kick. Shoot him with a gun. Rocket launcher the cat. Yeah. 
You get the point. You get Dude, set the house on fire so we don't have to worry about any of these problems. Dude, bomb Michigan. <laughs> Dude, vote for Trump again. Dude, if he passes this two thousand, oh if we God. get these two thousand dollars, ah, sign me up for the fraudulent election. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw someone was like, uh, like the st- some of the things that Trump's talking about, like the two thousand dollars and all this other stuff. Uh, someone was like, that sounds a lot like socialism. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, well, oh, help, we must defeat the people who are help, helping helping your uh, fellow Americans of socialism. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love how like he like veto or like you know he said, oh, I'm gonna veto this bill unless it's two thousand dollars. And then I and then like it's because people are like, oh, but he's only doing that, you know, to make himself look good. So when he runs for real or whatever, you know, and then yeah, to make yeah. to make the Democrats, everyone agreed on six hundred dollars, and then he's gonna look good. And then I'm just sitting there going like this: Who cares? He wants to give us two thousand dollars. Like, a, I don't give a fuck why. I don't give a fuck why he wants to do it. I don't give a fuck. He's like he. The thought of us getting two thousand dollars makes his penis hard. I'm like, good. I don't know. Who people? Who cares? Because we're all – that's not it. It's funny because it's like – I mean, obviously, we still have our jobs and everything. So, like, to us getting $2,000, we're just like this. Sweet. Well, like, there are people where it's like they, like, need the money. <laughs> yeah, a lot, yeah. Of, a lot of the bigger cities where people can't even be – they haven't even been working. Yeah. Like, very populated cities are, like, screwed. Yeah, it's like – it should just be – I don't know, like, because you need, yeah, you need, like, the people who don't have jobs need, like, the unemployed, like, they need their wage paid still, but then, like, the the stimulus check is to help, obviously, stimulate the economy, so people just are buying shit, so businesses can stay open, like, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. It kind of sucks. We're we're fucked. Like, I don't want to talk about these these goddamn stupid problems a stupid country has. Oh, if you don't like America, you can just get out. Who was that? Um, was I don't think it was. I think Jen was reading this stuff to me. She, oh, was it Jen? I had to have been her. She was like, she read something like it was like, oh, like if you don't like it here, then you can just move to another country. And then like, and then she was just reading all these other examples like, oh, if your toilet if your toilet's broken, then just move to a new house, like stuff yeah. like that. Like, yeah, don't fix any problems. Just move away. Yeah. Like, it's like the whole thing about people going, oh, if you don't like it here, you can just move to another it country. It doesn't make any it's sense. Like, it's like, no, no, I love it here. I like it here. I, I think we can it. fix it. Yeah, we can yeah. improve this country by a lot. No, no, don't fucking say that. No, no, no. You're, no. Not, a, you're not a true patriot like me. Those Hold on, I got to go fuck my cousin. Yeah, those same people would be like, it was fine that my dad hit me. Yeah. No, he doesn't need to be fixed. That's how people were yeah. brought up. It was, yeah. Like, my, we still shouldn't be hitting I, people. We could I, fix my it. dad was tough. He would come home drunk and beat the shit out of me and my mom. Yeah, we, we uh, could adjust that over years. We could talk about it. Talk oh. about feelings. Talk about things. Or and kill your dad. Become non-alcoholics and stuff and like figure things out and, and work and improve and get better but no or we could just go no oh, oh. let's keep it going <laughs> that's the whole rest of the podcast yeah. someone's just, skip, someone just skipping through can they just get to a part yeah. they skip fuck like, they skip oh, playing a corn song they skip, <laughs> they skip two more minutes they're like what the hell how long have they been doing that? I gotta, I gotta play this clip. We're both just. <laughs> We're both Marv from Home Alone getting electrocuted as a yeah. skeleton. <laughs> We're just spitting all over the fucking camera. <laughs> now for the the ASMR section of the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the that's the deep throat section. I gotta. I gotta make a TikTok of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get like, see, I don't know. TikTok I don't get like the whole either. ASMR thing. Like, I, obviously, I get it. Like, I understand what it is. I just don't get 
like to me it doesn't bother me oh. but it doesn't also like it doesn't make i don't like listen to it going oh i like the sound like it's just weird i'm like like someone's like actually you know what it does bother me when there's ones of people like eating and there's oh. so disgusting oh, and i just want to be dead yeah, there's a... Like, I, I saw this one video of a big, fat, disgusting guy just eating McDonald's. And I was like... <sighs> it's horrifying. Yep. And I'm the hungry. Guy's like Speaking of McDonald's, I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's some oddly satisfying things of, like, people cutting foam or, like, playing with certain things yeah. that are gooey or whatever. And it's like... <laughs> there's, like, come. There's, well, like, that's what's up with... Uh, Hold on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Look how it's stuck, and then it starts to harden, and you can roll it up longer. like a booger. <laughs> yeah. And you eat it like a pill. Come, cum drops. Come pit, yeah, cum drops. If you make it this far in the episodes, you hear us talk about cum. Um, Dropping. Put in your cereal. You can <laughs> dunk it in the toilet. <laughs> it could be a toilet cum. <laughs> um. Damn it. <laughs> I was going to say another thing, like in the middle of that. But yeah. then I want to riff on the goofy shit. Um, the hell. Here, let's look at each other. All right. Is that you? Am I looking at you? No, other way. Oh, really? On mine, Is that you? Yeah, on mine, what? it's this way. Oh, Sorry, am I look- Wait, am I looking the right way? Yeah. Hi, Corey. Oh, no, wrong way. Look at me, bitch. You got a cool hat. Thanks. Yeah, mine's the other way. Well, I'm looking at you on mine, but then on mine, you're looking the other way. This is bullshit. This is fuck. Um, oh. Damn it. Oh. Dude, oh, I went to this, uh, <laughs> yeah. I went to this, we went to this walk thing yesterday, this like light like aurora whatever like it's like you oh, okay. walk to this park and the, there's lights everywhere was that a thing that i was looking up but it was like booked oh yeah you looked it up when we went last yeah. time, when we went in like halloween this was a christmas version uh, that makes, okay. and we walked by this guy i was dying oh what did this guy say oh jen will probably remember the word he used so like it's just weird lights everywhere and like this guy was just like this he sounded like bernie sanders or some old guy i thought he sounded like bernie sanders but he was like we walked by and he's like Wow, these these lights are are really funky. And I was just like, "What?" You just walk into that normal lights. It's just like lamps and shit. And I was like, "What?" I was just dying because I was like, well, "Yeah, they're supposed to be." F- oh fuck! What word did he use? Man, these lights are something else. I am I am Bernie Sanders, and uh, these these lights. So one percent of these lights need to be. One percent of these lights are very funky, and <laughs> they need to spread the funk. To the ninety nine percent of the rest of the lights. You are only as funky as your one percent of your. I don't know. I have Bernie Sanders. I had, like, I'm good friends with Joe Biden, <laughs> and uh, he once tried to suck my penis, and I said, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, that is socialism. Uh, maybe you, when I was younger, but there was too much hair, too Joe much Biden, gray hair all over my cock. You're trying to, Joe Biden, you're trying to suck my penis, and that is socialism because you're trying to make me come. Trying to make me, trying to help me come. Trump, no. he doesn't, he doesn't want to make me come. He doesn't want to suck my penis. The one percent for... needs to give the ninety-nine percent the come. Yeah, one percent. Spread, spread the come. Spread your come to he the ninety-nine percent. Black now. Yeah. It's different, it's different. Dude, Lewis Black just uh, loses his mind. He still does stuff. I didn't know. I've seen it on like YouTube. Like he, really? Yeah, I think he had. <laughs> What? I don't know if it's a podcast, but he does something. He his, there's videos that get posted on YouTube. I saw it like shared once. Huh. So I remember one time we were what were we watching? I think we were watching like a Super Bowl, and then your brother was like, "Dude, they should have the halftime show be just like Bill Burr and like Lewis Black." And I was like, "Why would they do that?" <laughs> just two just two white guys screaming. Yeah, and I a Super Bowl. Yeah. Fucking quarterback over here can't throw outside the numbers. Yeah. And then Lewis Black is just not saying anything. I don't know. Yeah, he's just bitching about Bernie or some political thing. Dude, I like to do a Bernie Sanders impression. The one percent the is gay. You wake up in the morning, 
you check out the genitalia of the person sleeping in the bed next to you. And if it's a penis? You suck it. You suck it? You suck the penis? And it's a vagina? You go find a penis. You suck that too. We suck everything. Everything needs to be sucked. Socialism. That's socialism. (laughs) Medicare for all? Everyone. A handjob? Every day? Everyone sucked. As a as a as a nation united. Fail the barn. Fail the barn. Everyone will have STDs when we all suck each other. Medicare for all. Fine. Did your grandpa give him a hand job? It. I mean, we, I'm sure we've said it, and a hundred people have said it. But like every time, I just see like Nancy Pelosi or just like some of the oldest motherfuckers in Congress or on the news politicians talking about stuff i'm like you're like you're gonna be gone the next time i pay attention to a political thing you will probably not be here so like why why, sometimes i'm like why why i don't know how how would they have the best interest i guess you could i don't know man sometimes i'm like how these people (laughs) i don't know i guess some old ass people are thinking about the future and others but it's hard yeah. to believe that someone's like 85 and on their way out. Yeah. To to trust that they want to do things for the um, good of everybody. I'm Nancy Pelosi. I have and, giant cans. And I, I care about the people. But also, I'm a millionaire. But also, look at my hands. Yeah. She has like stuff the, like this. She has like the smoothest... I don't know. She looks like a lizard. She's like, I don't know. I don't know what she looks like. Don't, don't listen to me, anybody. Don't listen to us about anything. Yeah, I know what she you. looks like. I've seen her before, but I can't describe it. People have already, you know, they're already tuned out. They already stopped listening, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of listens to the last episode. We need to keep that going. I want a pot. I want. Yeah, if you're listening, get me a PS5. Um, I'll be happy. Yeah, Venmo Chris Dash Robertson uh, Dash sixty nine. I think is my Venmo. Do do I have? A, I don't know. I don't know. How long have we been doing this? Uh, it's like fifty five. Oh. Fifty six. We oh. need to. I think maybe do this at the top of the show. But I was gonna say. If you give us a five, so anyone still listen, if Whoa. you give us a five star review oh. on you on the the podcast app, if you do that, no matter what you say in the review, as long as it's a five star, no matter what you say, I'll we'll repeat it on the show. Yeah, even if it's the even if you word, put a secret about me. <laughs> yeah, but do put that word in there. <laughs> you gotta say it because you gave us five stars and. We're just I thought you were going to say, Thank I thought you. you were about to hit up people for $5. If you give us $5. If you guys give us $5, that's, we'll, I'm broke. We'll have sex. We'll fuck each other. <laughs> Virtually. Virtual fuck. We'll get, we'll get, little, get little robots made that yeah, look Jen, like each other. Jen said, my sister just said, oh, is Corey still doing his podcast? In front of my mom. And I'm like, oh, boy. Oh, your mom. No, in front of her mom. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was my confused. mom. I don't care if my mom listens to it. My mom doesn't care about it. She would just be she like, ha, this is hilarious. <laughs> I just feel like just because it's us and we just say, if we just said something, anything, it doesn't matter what we'd say, just a crazy thing. My mom would probably be like, ha, But then Jen's mom would be like, oh, no. Oh, my God. I don't know. They're really kicking cats there, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> That's that one guy does have three cats. I know that. Did, did he have four before? Yeah. His, girl- one home to death? his girlfriend kicked it with groceries and it died. Yeah. <laughs> just what if a just kick him out of the way? She's like, oh, okay. She sets all the groceries oh back on the God. porch. Just she just I don't have a holder, but we'll see how it works. <laughs> Tunk. Yeah, you just hear Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> like, what just happened? You're like, you told me to kick him. Yeah, dating someone who just takes everything 100% literal oh, all the time. <laughs> hey, uh, can you uh, can you toss me the laundry? <laughs> just like. <laughs> throws a whole basket. 
<laughs> like, ah, uh, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, yeah, sorry. we just had uh, one hour, I think. Oh. We're the one hour boys. One hour six. Well, I'm going to deal with my family thing. Probably not go over there. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Jesus. Can't believe it. Good luck, little boy. I don't know. I might clean up a little bit and then do some gaming. Nice. I'd like to do that. Hell yeah. I do have all these gifts that I wrapped yesterday, and I just wanted to toss them to the nieces and nephews. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot you bought all them gifts. That's nice to be. Um, well, then I bought, I, bought, one of them. I bought one of them a second gift, so then I went, well, now I got to buy all of them two gifts. And then I bought all of them two gifts. You just give them all one, and then an hour later, you go to the. Like, Chris gave me enough. Shut up. You just punch him in the face. Well, at first, I was like, all right, these, the, the three and four year olds or whatever, they'll get two gifts. I don't know, like. Rock. I didn't know they, uh, whoever you bought that, I don't know, they were all in a Fortnite. Yeah, uh, Cam and Mason are really They, like, they play it? I think. One has played it. The other one fake plays it. Oh, okay. I was gonna Dad say, gives them a remote. Because Cam, like, one of them well, is, like, young. I'm like, they can't yeah, play games yet. They, like, I'd be uh, like... Yeah, they fake play it. And then oh, they okay. also... That's cool. They also just... So a lot of kids, like, Cam loves Baby Yoda. Oh, uh, yeah. Mark's like, I have no idea how... Uh, it's Grogu. Yeah, Grogu. Well, so he knows him as Baby Yoda because... I know, I was kidding. He didn't watch the show... No, just the videos all over their damn place. Yeah, you just see it like, nah. you're like, whoa, that yeah, thing's cool. Like, That's so cute. Because there's little yeah. clips of it going like, nah. it makes little yeah. cute baby <laughs> noises and stuff. Yeah. That's funny. 50 years old. Do your sisters still play video games? Yeah. Uh, I know one was watching horror movies with friends, like on the, like on the, uh, like they'd all be like, you know, yeah. we're in a party playing Call of Duty. They'll be in a party, like, watch watching their movies. Movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. But she do they al- game no, think, still? She also, I think... She, they play Minecraft still? I think it's just Minecraft, pretty much. Oh, dang. There might be some other Steam stuff, but... They do it on their laptop, so I'm sure it sucks. Yeah. They don't have a high-powered machine. I should build my... I'll build a, a PC, and then I'll help them yeah. build theirs. Create a big, buy, big buy, yeah, buy everyone PCs. You'll spend ten grand. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I'll do it. I'm loaded from this podcast. All the Venmos I've already gotten since this episode started. Some people are watching live. Whoa! I didn't get any. Direct them to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna end the recording. All right. Uh, bye everybody. Love you. Part noise. <laughs>